There are a number of ways we can think about the molecular structure for water. First off, we could just look at the chemical formula and see that we have two hydrogens and one oxygen. So we could draw it like this. That would be a good start to drawing the molecular structure for water. But there's a better way to do it. We could use a Lewis structure, and that would show where all the valence electrons are. So we use this here, and we're going to add the electrons that are found in the outer shell. We put two here. These valence electrons here, they form a chemical bond. They're shared between the oxygen and the hydrogen. Same thing here, pair of valence electrons shared in a chemical bond. Often you'll see this just written as a line. So let's change that. So we're getting closer. We now know about these electrons, the chemical bonds. The problem is we don't know the three dimensional structure yet. For that, we're gonna use something called valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. It's actually pretty easy. It says that this hydrogen here has an electron cloud around it, as does this one. And these lone pair, these unbonded electrons, they also have an electron cloud. All these electron clouds are negative, so they push away from each other. So let's see how that looks. We'll start with the oxygen atom and we'll add the hydrogen. So let's add one hydrogen here, move it over this way. And then when we add the other hydrogen, you can see it's on the opposite side. The hydrogens don't want to be next to each other because we have this electron cloud around them. You can see here, this is the chemical bond. So that looks like the structure for water we first drew, but we've got to add those unbonded pairs of electrons. So we'll add one here and you can see everything pushes away. It has its own orbital, it has its own electron cloud. We'll add the other one. And this is the structure for water. If we looked at this bond angle for these two hydrogens as they connect to the oxygen, that would be 104.5 degrees. And because we have this kind of bent shape, the molecular geometry, well, it's called bent. So now we can even update this structure for water to be a little more accurate. The idea of these valence shell electron pairs repelling each other is really useful, and we can use that for many other molecules. Watch my video on VSEPR for more information on how to do that. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.